Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and you are watching another web guy YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn about JavaScript operators. So without wasting any time, let's get started. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. In the last video, we learned about JavaScript variables. In this video, we are going to learn how to operate on these variables. You can see that I have my basic HTML boilerplate ready. I am going to write all my JavaScript code in script.js file and I have opened live server so you can see the changes in real time. So now I'll go to my browser and I'll press Ctrl plus Shift plus I to open the developer tools. Here we'll open the console so that we can see the output from our JavaScript code. Now in our script.js file, let's declare some variables, say x and y and we'll give it, it some value. Now we'll declare another variable and set it x plus y. Now let's console.log the z variable. And we can see the output in the console. Now here the equal to sign and the plus sign they are known as JavaScript operators. So basically anything that performs some operation on single or multiple variables and produces a result is known as a JavaScript operator. Here in this example we have used two type of operators. The equal to is the assignment operator and the plus sign is the addition operator. In JavaScript, we have various other operators. The most important ones are the arithmetic operator, the assignment operator, comparison operators, logical operators and string operators. So let's see each of them one by one. The first one is the arithmetic operators. There are various arithmetic operators which you can see on the screen. The addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are self-explanatory. Let's see the other ones. So we have one uh, modulus operator. The modulus operator produces the remainder after division between two numbers. For example, here I leave the x equal to 5 and y equal to 7. Let's change the plus sign to the modulus sign. And we can see the output on our console is 5. 5 divided by 7 gives the quotient as 1 and remainder as 5. Now let's change the value of x to 35. Now as expected we should get the value 0 because 35 when divided by 7 gives the remainder 0. If we change the x value to 36 we should get the value 1. Next is the exponent operator. So let's change the value of x to 2 and uh, let's set z equal to x asterisk asterisk y. This asterisk asterisk is the symbol for exponentiation operator. So we'll get the value 128 because 2 to the power 7 is 128. Now next we have the increment operator. What increment operator does is it increases the value of the variable by 1. So if I set x plus plus and then console.log z then we'll get the increased value of x. Similarly we have the decrement operator which is denoted by minus minus symbol. So if I do x minus minus we'll get the decreased value of x. Now one thing to note here is if I write z equal to x plus plus then let's see what we get as the result. As you can see we are still getting 2 as the output. Why is this happening? This is because when we use the increment operator after the variable, it first returns its original value and then increment itself by 1. That means what's happening here is x was initially 2. Then when we set z equal to x plus plus, x returned the value of 2 to z. That means z became 2 and then x incremented itself and became 3. So if I write 
console dot log x we should get the value 3 but if we use the increment operator as prefix then the value of x will be incremented by 1 and then it will return the value so we can use the increment or the decrement operator as prefix or postfix when we use the increment operator as prefix the value of the variable is first incremented and then it returns the value when we use the increment operator as postfix the original value is returned first and then the value of the variable is incremented next we have the assignment operators you can see the various assignment operators on the screen let's understand these one by one you are already familiar with the equal to operator next we have the addition assignment operator that means if I say x plus equal to y and then I'll uh, log x onto the console, we'll get the added value of x plus y into x. So basically x plus equal to y is same as x equal to x plus y, which means add x and y and store the value of the variable in x. Similar to the addition assignment operator, we have subtraction assignment, multiplication assignment, division assignment, modulus assignment and the exponent assignment operators. Next we have the comparison operators. The comparison operators are used to test for true or false. That means they will either return true or false depending on the condition. You can see the various comparison operators on the screen. Let's understand each of them by examples. So first is the double equal to operator. This operator checks for the equality between two variables. For example, let's uh, check the equality between x and y. Now obviously x and y are not equal so it will return false. Now let's set the value of y to 2 and as we can see we'll get the value true. Next we have the triple equal to operator. It checks for equal value and equal type. We'll understand the difference between double equal to and triple equal to operators by using this simple example. For example here we have x equal to 2 and let's set the y equal to 2 in double quotes. Now the value of both x and y is 2 but the x is an integer and y is a string data type. What are data types? We will study that in detail in next video. But for now, just understand that the x is an integer or a number and y is a string. So when I am using double equal to between x and y, we will get the value as true because by value they are same. But if we consider the type of those variables, they are not same x is a number and y is a string. So if I use triple equal to between x and y, we will get the value as false. So basically double equal to checks for equality between value and if you, if you want to check for both value and type, we need to use triple equal to. Now let's set the value of y back to 7 and we'll use the not equal to operator between them. Now obviously we will get the result as true because 2 is not equal to 7. Similar to triple equal to we can use exclamation mark and 2 equal to signs for not equal value and not equal type. So again if I set the value of 2 as a string then if we use the not equal operator it will give false but if we use the not equal value and not equal type operator it will give true next we have the greater than or less than operator so it is self explanatory next we have the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to what this does is for example if i let's set the value of y back to uh, 7 so obviously we will get the result as false because 2 is definitely not greater than 7. Now let's change the value of y back to 2. Now we are getting the output as true. This is because the x is either greater than or equal to 2. 
whereas if I only use greater than sign, we'll get the result as false because 2 is definitely not greater than 2. Likewise for the less than or equal to operator, we can use it in same way. Similar to the comparison operator, we have logical operators. They also give the result as true or false and they are used to determine the logic between variables or values. You can see the logical operators on the screen and we'll understand these by help of examples. So we have x equal to 2 and y equal to 2. Now if I say x less than equal to 2 and y greater than equal to 2, this will give the value as true because yes, x is also less than or equal to 2 and y is also greater than or equal to 2. Let's change one of the conditions and let's see what happens. So if I set y is greater than or equal to 3, we'll get the result as false because x is less than or equal to 2. This condition is true. But y greater than or equal to 3, this is false. And we are using the AND operator. So both the conditions should be true to get the value as true. Next we have the OR operator. The OR operator will give the output as true if even one of the conditions is true. For example, in the same statement, if I change the AND operator by OR operator, we'll get the final value as true. This is because even though Y greater than or equal to 3 is false, but X less than or equal to 2 is true here. So one of the conditions is true. That's why we are getting the final output as true. Next, we have the NOT operator. The NOT operator is pretty simple. It gives the inverse value. So if the condition is true and we are using the NOT operator, it will give false. If the statement is false and we are using the NOT operator, it will give the result as true. For example, here x is equal to y. So if I use x equal to equal to y and put a exclamation sign before that, it will give the value as false. Next, we have the string operators. Although we have not learned data types yet, but we know that we have a data type known as string and it is a series of characters. So now the plus operator is used to add or concatenate the strings. For example, if we declare two variables, text1 and text2 as say raw and mangoes. And now let's use the plus operator to concatenate them. You can see we'll get the result something like this. Now this is important to understand that for example if I have x equal to 2 and if we set the value of y is equal to 2 as string, then if we add x and y, we will not get 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Instead, the JavaScript will automatically convert the value of x to a string and it will concatenate the value of x and y to 2 and 2 that is 22. We can use this concatenation operator multiple times to add as many strings as we want. So that was all about JavaScript operators. Don't worry if you don't understand the practical applications of these concepts in creating a website. We will cover those in great detail in our upcoming videos. For now, we are just learning the syntax. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you learned something. If you are new here, consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.